Artificial intelligence detects blood pressure just by looking at your face. Special state liaisons can now help manage your cyber risks. New electronics demo at the CES Expo of 2022. And what tech giant hit $3 trillion stock share value this week? All that and more next on The Computer Doctor Show. You're listening to The Computer Doctor Show, your source for technology subjects affecting your business and personal life during this new normal. Your host is an award-winning office technician and IT specialist, author, tutor, ethical hacker, and recent winner on localbest.com as the best computer shop in Tucson. Broadcasting live, here's Aaron Moss. Hello, Tucson and the podcast world and nerd world. Welcome to the Computer Doctor Show, your headquarters for up-to-date scam awareness, science, and cutting-edge technology talk. This is episode 74. I'm Aaron Moss, your host. Thanks for tuning in with us every Saturday at 2 p.m. We post all of our shows and bonus content on ComputerDoctorShow.com. Again, ComputerDoctorShow.com. Our open lines, 520-790-2040. Feel free to call in any time with your comments and questions and even complaints we can answer. Co-hosting today is the Secretary of the uh, American Association of University Women. She also serves as the WISH Board on the WISH Board of Make-A-Wish. She's also the contractor of Solar Pro AZ, so it's a pleasure having Erin Mendibles uh, helping out co-hosting today on very short notice. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me, Erin. Um, you forgot that I'm also an honorary commander with the 418th Squadron um, at davis Monthan. Well, that sounds very important. It is very <laughs> important that I show up. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for being here. The Computer Doctor Show is sponsored by the expert technicians at Perfection Auto Works near Speedway and Craycroft. They have a 26-point inspection uh, that's uh, free that I have actually taken uh, uh, advantage of myself with uh, my car and uh, they're great over there they're very very thorough they were able to catch things that other uh, shops were not able to catch so definitely uh, give them a uh, uh, visit or call them at 520-323-8650 we have a great show uh, today and uh, so let's get into our tech news this week uh, so there is an artificial intelligence uh, that is detecting blood pressure it's part of this app it detects blood pressure by just looking at a short video of your face so i think um men might need to have these things on wrists um so you know or maybe women can have them on their wrists mm -hmm. so that we can know if a guy's you know blood pressure has <laughs> gone up or you know if we're like oh god he's a hot mess like walk away ladies yeah. walk away <laughs> <laughs> the uh and the so this is part of an app it's it's a feature inside of an app called uh uh, Bina, uh benya it's spelled b-i-n-a Dot AI. Again, that's B I N A H. Yeah, mine would be called Dunya. Like, we're done here. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> done. So, that's great. So, uh, they, they were able to get this thing to work. They did a study that is unpublished. Mm -hmm. They used about maybe 250 people, and uh, apparently they had some accuracies with it. So, the concept is not new. So before the show, we were talking about pulse oximetry. If you, mm -hmm. So if you ever go to the hospital and you have to put your finger in that machine that grabs your your finger, it actually starts to read out your pulse, and it also reads out your oxygenation of in the right. percentage. So how does it do that? It uses laser, and it's able to do that with just a laser picture. Right. So mm -hmm. I think um, it's all of this technology is pretty fascinating, um, you know, as a type 1 diabetic, we have things now that can test your blood sugar similarly. Um, but I think it's just, you know, if you have tattoos, if you are dark skinned, um, lots of things. Or if you're wearing a lot of makeup. Makeup, you yeah. know, on your arms, uh, mm -hmm. which, you know, maybe if you're really hairy, that could be another issue. Yes, facial hair also yeah. came up. Mm -hmm. um, but all of those things are great for medical technology. I think you had said, you know, getting doctors um, for telemed appointments those are all really good but i think you know it's great but when i go into a doctor's office and a med tech doesn't know how to take my blood pressure just a good old-fashioned way um you know you're driving in an ambulance and all of a sudden someone doesn't know how to take your blood pressure um <laughs> it's a little alarming but mm -hmm. you know the the technology is great where we're going is great but i think um it's you know fascinating to see what they come up with now now just for just 
to make sure that we're saying things accurately. This is not clinical level yet. Okay. It is only, uh, the app said that they only released it to people only because the users requested it. And it was something that they were working on and they got a little bit of, I think they may have gotten a little bit ahead of themselves, but they actually went ahead and released it into this app. And, uh, but the clinical standard is still blood pressure with a cuff that, okay. that gets inflated. That is still the standard of accuracy. Cause you know, I got an Oculus too, um, for my oh. daughter. Well, my mom actually got it for her, but, um, and I think, you know, I envision having doctor's offices in, um, an Oculus two office <laughs> and you, you know, socially AI walk in and you Can sit you down. Fly in? I would I would definitely fly in um in some very bedazzled shoes okay. and you know you sit down and you talk to other users in the waiting room and all of that is what I envision is about to happen. Where are we Aaron scary, with that? Scary, scary. Yeah. But here's but we also have to think about the security about it, which brings us to our next point. So the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency or the CISA because we we always we, we hate acronyms on this show. Okay. We always say the full thing. Okay. Uh, okay. So what they are uh, doing now, they just had this uh, special forum. So th there are these state liaisons now. They call them navigators. And uh, basically all states have apparently partic participated in this forum. Uh, basically for, and it's starting off with election offices. They're starting with elections offices because there was this big misunderstanding or... Mm -hmm challenging of what is secure what is not secure especially during election times but the hope here and the goal there is to uh, roll this type of camaraderie between all government agencies so that they're all on the same playing field with their security the, the they're always releasing all these new articles about how to protect the the agency how to protect things but there's nobody out there that's going around making sure that implementing everyone is it. implementing mm -hmm. to make sure and that's what this is all about uh, uh, governments they have a difficult difficult time communicating with each other before Correct. the show we were talking about right hand and left hand DMV doesn't talk to the insurance they don't mm -hmm. talk to the courts and you know so you're you're like the communication you're the one that has to bring the paperwork and you know sign it and authorize it and send yeah. it off and wait for a response and then bring it back to them they can't communicate directly so that's part of the problem right so where the title of this person when they go around are they the implementer is that they're the director of implementers what are uh, we going they, to title they are them they are calling them navigators okay i don't know why but uh but the the article also said it's another it's they're like liaisons the, in other words they, they don't direct they can only suggest they can mm -hmm. say they can they don't they can't they don't have the authority to go into someone's uh, data center and mm -hmm. say and start going in there switching wires around making changes changing settings and things they can't do that they can only say I've noticed this what you need to do is change that to that move this wire over here like that so I think by that they're, they're being called navigators or liaisons because they're only making suggestions. That's what I've gotten from the article. So, And now <laughs> we no longer use the word navigator, at least in um, the 418th. They don't have navigators anymore. They're electrical engineers or something fancy. <laughs> but, you know, the B-17 had a navigator, a pilot, oh. a co-pilot. Um, well, maybe they weren't called navigators quite but back then, but there were navigators. Um, my stepbrother was in the Air Force, um, so he was a navigator. Um, so I think it's interesting. We are no longer calling in the military navigators navigators, but um, now we're using it in government affairs. Yeah, You're uh, a navigator. Uh, apparently. Now, also, since we're still in the beginning of January, uh, that also is the uh, CES, which is the Consumer Electronics uh, uh, Expo show. Uh, so this year in 2022, I believe they, it was, I believe it's still going on today. There, were, I saw some reports that it had ended yesterday, but uh, there are some pretty cool things that are being released for the first time uh, that we can expect for 2022, some of the electronics. And so one of them was that there seems to be a trend with uh, adding bonus bonus screens to laptops. So if you have a maybe like an Apple uh, laptop within mm -hmm. the past two years, they have that uh, bar across the top of the keyboard, but it's not on the screen side. It's on the keyboard side. It's right. on the bottom part, but it's actually like a little screen. It actually has letters that come up on there and it's touch 
it's really? a, it's like a touch screen and it you can do like little waves and like little uh uh if you're playing a video you can scroll through the video things like that so oh that's cool now what they're trying to do is um the which one was it it was the third generation lenovo thinkbook is going to be like this they're going to have this extra pad on the side of the of the keyboard side of the laptop mm -hmm. and on this little screen thing you can put special you can have special buttons laminated on there that can be touched so for example if you're opening a an app that uses specialized keys mm -hmm. you can have those there and uh it, it could also double as a as a signing thing where you can write on it and it'll show up on the screen. So it's very, very, you know, as, as we move into the day, age of digital documents yeah. and digital signing, those things are, you know, pretty cool. The resale of those computers will be interesting. So what was on your digital <laughs> screen? Let's take a look. <laughs> but, you know, your, your average laptop has lots of uh, blank space. So if you have right. the keyboard, then you have the touchpad. To the left of the touchpad, to the right of the touchpad, that's just blank space. Right. So they're they're putting stuff. Yeah. Cool God forbid we just you know, have blank space, like Taylor Swift said, you know, as an <laughs> album. There we go. Uh, <laughs> also, there is a, there's a gizmo called the HyperX Cloud Alpha S, which is a two hundred dollar wireless headset. And here's the here's what makes it cool. It has a three hundred hours of battery life. That's incredible. Three. I mean, that really is incredible. I can have a you know my AirPods go for a couple hours and then I have to charge them and then I have to charge the case yes and then I have to charge you know charge my phone and charge my watch and <laughs> we are no longer wireless right it beats the days when you used to have to wind up your watch then right. you have to charge them every day right uh, also there's more TVs and displays that are offering more casting features as we move away from traditional TV the, all the t all the TVs that we can expect in 2022 smart uh, TV more smart TV more features more casting ability more ability to connect your smartphone to the TV and more uh, interaction with your other your smart devices within the house and when you say casting abilities what is that so let's say that you have Netflix a Netflix account you can Put your Netflix uh, on. Get your Netflix on the phone. Then there's a little button at the top of this uh, of your phone that says "Cast," and you can hit that button. And your TV, any oh, smart it's TVs, like AirPlay, AirPlay okay. or Cast. AirPlay is the is the is the Apple, Apple. version okay. of casting. Okay. But the real the the base word is casting. Gotcha. But AirPlay is the Apple product of that. But Clearly I'm an Apple person. Yes. <laughs> and also you had mentioned before the show the AirTags for the wallet. Yes. So there's actually now a new credit card looking thing that you can put in your wallet and actually has uh, uh tracking ability so yeah, you don't have to lose your wallet again. But a young lady was um air tagged and um stalked by a male in LA. There is lots and lots of double things that we have to double. So there's a lot of security that comes along with that. We're going to talk about that in, in a future show. But we're going to take our midway uh, commercial break with a word from our sponsors. Up next, what company hit $3 trillion stock and share this week and also science and tech anniversary shows. This is the Computer Doctor Show. Dude, man, I'm starving. <laughs> yeah, I want some Cheetos. Hey, dude, look around, there's no food. What? Oh, hey, wait, wait, there's one bag over there, grab it. Hey, cool, dude, let's run, man, run. Hey, what's wrong? Man, I don't know, I won't start. <laughs> that chow. Hey, dude, it's got that virus. Excuse me. Your car sounds pretty sick. I know someone who has the cure. Perfection Auto Works. And you won't need that toilet paper when you get the bill. Perfection Auto Works can handle all of your auto or truck repairs. Call Perfection Auto Works today, 323-8650. That's 323-8650 or perfectionautoworks.com. 323-8650. That's 323-8650. Computer Doctor of Tucson is the best choice in desktop support in Tucson. They fix error messages, power and boot problems, install of software and hardware, and much more. You can come to them, or they can come to you, or even have a remote support session so they can fix your issues over the phone quickly. Give them a call at 261-5508. 
256-261-5508. Visit them on the web at computerdoctortucson.com. Computer Doctor of Tucson, because technology is great when it works. Welcome back to the Computer Doctor Show, your source for skin awareness, science, and technology talk. I'm Aaron Moss, your host, along with Aaron today, co-hosting today from AZ Pro. Uh, Solar, Solar Pros. A Pro Solar a Pros a AZ. AZ. All right. So, Aaron, why don't you take it away? Tell us uh, what what you can uh, uh, what, what what's going on with you, and uh, tell us how, what's what you have to offer from. Well, yeah. So. Um, Solar Pro AZ is actually a local company that was started by three gentlemen a couple years ago. Alex Nueva is one of the owners. Um, and, you know, solar overall, we have over 250, I think we have 295 days of sunshine in Tucson. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the best place to have solar. Um, solar Pro AZ is not one of those companies that's calling you, um, harassing you. <laughs> Um, which is great. It was important for me to know that um, before I went on with them. And um, yeah, we are just a very local company with a manufacturing um, ability here in Tucson. We have a warehouse here in Tucson. We also um, put all of our servicing done through us. It's not a third party contractor that's coming out to your house, which is important mm -hmm. um, for all qualified homeowners right now. We are doing for one year, no solar payment, which is incredible i've um, gone through a couple other solar companies and no one is doing that um, mm -hmm. it's a pretty big investment uh, what other companies do is ask if you want to have an alarm system and you know put in or whatever and that's just a gimmick to get you to stay on so right. we don't do that so, so if somebody wants to uh take you up on that offer how can what what where do they do what what website do they go to what do they call so they can call me um, at my business number, which is 520-222-5354. I'm on LinkedIn also. Um, and it is Aaron with two R's when you're searching for me on LinkedIn. Um, and, you know, again, there is the huge solar tax credit that's still going. So it's an incredible um, opportunity to get solar. All right. Super. Uh, it is time for our announcements. Uh, so here is a company that has a sum of three trillion dollars sum of their total shares so this was apple okay big surprise uh now some of the other companies there, there are other companies that have hit one trillion so uh, we know amazon did and uh the uh, the, uh tesla and uh, yeah. spacex they're they're up there in the trillions right now but nobody else has gone uh, gotten this high of three trillion sum of total shares and they're still hovering about 2.93 trillion dollars at least as of wednesday morning the new york times says it's still a bonkers numbers that no other company has reached before right right yeah. well when you first said it i was like are we talking s-u-m or s-o-m-e so um the context of some could be <laughs> <laughs> something to think about but it, that's yeah. incredible that's a huge number i yeah. mean I, I don't ever anticipate ever ever having that number in my yeah it's 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 insane that we're into the trillions now that yeah. we might pace possibly i think technically there is at least uh at least three trillionaires in the world wow right now yes uh, right now. but I, i'm I not could, one I could, of them i could be wrong i i'm certainly not one of them either. yeah uh also uh, this is a little bit uh this is a little bit out there but you know kazakhstan the kazakhstan government uh they shut down their internet amid these protests now on January 5th, just a couple of days ago, the, there was some violent pro protests that had erupted, had it erupted mm -hmm. over the soaring cost of fuel, and there were some other civil unrest issues. So their president uh, decided to uh, declare a, a state of emergency and ordered the largest telecom provider to cut the internet to interrupt communications among the opposition ranks. Yeah, to keep them from being able to really get together, I think, and be able to protest and kind of organize together. I think it's... Um it's sad. It's really sad to, you know, but have you, that power. But, you know, tactically, cutting communication is, is the key. You know, if, if, if you're in a tactical situation, war situation, if you have the means to uh, cut communication or cut resources. You have to the power. A, yeah. Yeah. You know, that, that's, that's how wars are won. So they ran into another problem, though. They ran into this problem because uh, in, in, they also have a lot of, they're also very con closely connected with uh, India. India has about uh, 
twelve percent of the Bitcoin processing. Right. right. So here is a new question. If you have Bitcoin, if if you know how the blockchain works, I don't mm -hmm. know how familiar you are with the blockchain. If you have a blockchain and then part of that blockchain gets cut, cut off, off mm -hmm. not from itself, but just cut off from the bigger piece, that will it start to function as its own blockchain? Oh, that's an interesting or, thought. Or and if and if so, what happens when that connection reconnects, reconnects later? Yeah. Yeah. Which which transactions will then be the real ones? Right. Because right. you can still be sell, you can still be doing things mm -hmm. in the in the in the cut off piece. Correct. Okay. And they because if you have if you have miners there, mm -hmm. transactions will still go because it's saying, "Okay, oh, this is all good according to what we can see." Yeah. But they can see it uh, they can't see a whole other world of other miners that are showing something different. Right. Right. That's the question. Things if you that have, make you go, hmm. <laughs> and so if there is somebody out there that does have an answer to that, I would love it. Oh, my goodness. We're running short on time. But here, let's get into our science and tech anniversaries. Okay. Uh, so, Aaron, uh, what do you have for us? Science and tech anniversaries. So, 184 years ago, um, the um, Samuel Morse telegraph system was demonstrated for the first time at the Speedwell Iron Works in Morristown, New Jersey. And mm -hmm. I know you're from New York, mm -hmm. so I'm sure you were right, right, right across, across the river, right? Right across the river. Um, the telegraph revolutionized long-distance communication, reaching the height of popularity in the 1920s and 30s. It was slowly replaced by the telephone, faxing, and email. However, it wasn't until January 2006 that Western Union, perhaps the most famous telegram company, sent its last telegraph. I had no idea. 2006, they were still using the telegraph. Um, so for, for some people. Now, I, yeah. So we have a little image here of what the Morse code looks like. This is a bunch right. of dits and dots. So right. uh, my favorite one is the letter F. It's the uh, uh, the the uh, dit. Yeah, yeah. But um, if you're in a transmission room on a telegraph machine, you're not typing dit dit da dit. Right. You're, you're doing it much faster. More like da 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 dit. Right. Well, and my favorite movie that, you know, really uses the tele... I mean, there's lots of movies, but Titanic, you know, you see these ah, two kids in, yes. the, in the cabin and, and they're, SOS. they're doing SOS. And I was there just, yeah, people have, um, ta they have tattoos of tattoos of the SOS system um, okay. or the telegraph. Um, next is it? January 7th. 95 years ago, 1927, the first commercial transatlantic phone service was made available to the public. Although the cable was laid 69 years earlier in 1858, it was used for telegraph services, which the Morse code was the backbone language. The last telegraph was sent nine years ago in 2013 in India, um, and the last telegraph service was then, and it does no longer exist. That's right. So, so um, if you were one of those people that were around just nine years ago, and you were actually, that, that was so, I would love to just be like a fly on a wall. Like, you know, because presidents and, and world leaders, that's how they communicated right. at that time. Right. Well, if, if you ask people, though, and you talk about faxes, you know, sending a fax um, versus That's just using a couple of steps phone. away from this. Yeah. It really, truly is. <laughs> I mean, I remember, yeah, people talking about sending a fax. I'm like, you did what? <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, we've come a long way and uh, technology is great. Uh, that's why we have this show. We like to keep people updated on what's happening. Before we wrap up, we just want to thank our uh, sponsor, Perfection Auto Works, again for sponsoring our show. Stop by their location, Speedway Craycroft, for your free 26 point inspection if you missed any part of this episode go to computerdoctorshow.com click on episodes and find episode 74 my name is aaron moss your host and technology expert aaron mendy bliss mendy bliss was co-hosting today tom parrot banks is at the control board uh, listen to the computer doctor show every single week with new episodes every saturday stay safe enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll talk to you again next week we hope you enjoyed this episode of the computer doctor show if you missed any part of this live broadcast, we post all our episodes online at ComputerDoctorShow.com. Remember, the world is getting more and more tech, and so should you. To stay current with technology, listen to The Computer Doctor Show each week for local and global tech insights. If you have suggestions for a topic on a future show, send us an email at info at ComputerDoctorShow.com.